And hey, welcome to the first ever episode of Cool Guy Stuff. I'm Mike, a cool guy. Here's all my cool guy stuff over here. We've got Cadillac, camper van over there, car, daily car. There's a bus project. We are gonna make that bus into an RV. Yeah, stay tuned for that. What other cool stuff we got going on? So here's the garage, tools. Oh, we got RCs up on the wall. Gotta have my RC cars. There's some engines back there. Let's take a look. Oh, intake manifold, a carburetor. Let's see. Oh yeah, cool engines. Vintage radios, gotta have that. Oh yeah, all that cool guy stuff. Tools, gotta have all the tools. And of course, construction stuff. So we've got all the cars that we're doing projects on. Oh, I didn't mention, behind the bus, there's a bonus car, bonus vehicle. I'll show you that soon. So we got our home construction. So we're pouring a concrete uh, step here and walkway. In the backyard, we're doing a whole lot of stuff. In the basement too, downstairs, we're doing a bunch of stuff. So you have to check that out on a future episode of Cool Guy Stuff with me, Mike the cool guy. Today I'm going to show you guys my 1987 Dodge B350 camper van because I just sold it. So it's going to be the last time you and I ever see it. Here it is, 1987 Dodge B350. This thing's been great. Took us all over the East Coast. Yeah, look at this. And that's East Coast Canada by the way. So provinces for all you Americans out there wondering what I'm talking about. Let's check this out. Oh, hey Ethan. There's Ethan hanging out. How you doing, bud? Hey. All right. Cool. Can she close us two doors? Sure, I'll close us in. There we go. Closed in. All right, you take us somewhere. You're driving. Cool. All right, so here's our camper van. We got a sink. We got a stove, propane stove. Portable toilet and everything. Heating. There's a heater there. Microwave up top. Yep. Tons of storage space. All the fronts, all storage. That's all storage up there. Cabinetry. We got a skylight slash roof vent. I uh, got the side windows and side vents. And then up here, okay, well, that part there actually pulls forward and you end up with a bunk for two people, one, two. So you can sleep two up top right there. And then down here, of course, you've got seating. So that actually has a seat belt as well. So you've got seating for four across there and three across there. So you got seven worth of seats. And then that table there, that actually pops down so that the table goes across. The next thing you know, you've got a queen size bed right there because those cushions all pull out. You get a, a nice big full size bed for two people there. So seats seven in the back, sleeps four. Plus we got the two up here for driving. Yeah, this thing is cool. And like I said, it took us all over the place. It's got a power inverter in here. So there's our plug and there's our or our power bar rather and the plug to turn it on and then down there there it is that's our inverter and our battery so that actually works completely separate from the battery that's starting and running the, the vehicle so we can sit back use that and not have to worry about draining the battery not being able to get back on the road or anything like that but it also charges off the alternator so when we are driving and running this thing's charging and running as well. We can go anywhere, use it as much as we want. Super cool. Uh, yeah, and then out the back, there's just that curtain there, and that's just kind of storage space. Where we store all of our stuff back here. It's got a work light back there. So yeah, that's been great. This thing is, this thing's been really good to us. So this camper van has a really nice small block 318 Dodge engine in it. I'm gonna take off that cover there it's called a dog house take it off the dog house I'm gonna show it to you all right you got a clip right here unclip like that 
clip over here, same story. Clip like that, this whole thing slides right out. There it is, check it out guys. So, thing I love about these old school engines, yes, this may look like a mess to a lot of you, but don't worry, it's really not that complicated and that's the best part, right? They're simple, simple engines to work on. The little wing nut up there, take that off underneath. It's a two barrel carburetor, just like the one I've got in the garage. So I can show you the one in the garage. See, it's in there. It's not complicated. Yeah, easy to fix. This right here, there's your distributor. So spark plug wires, All right? So changing wires on this thing, right? Or, you know, any kind of adjustment, real simple right in here. And you can even do it while it's raining. It's inside the cab. See so if you have any problems getting this thing going, you can literally sit right here, operating the gas pedal, and then be tuning and fiddling right here while it's pissing down rain and you're staying dry. Cool stuff. This channel, I want this channel to be all about how to's and all the cool stuff that I do. My family does, honestly, because my wife's just as much in it as I am. And there's always a project on the go, there's always something happening, something going on. Um, whether it's camper vans, bus project, I'm ripping the engine apart on that Cadillac in the driveway. I've got a really cool car hanging out just over there that I'm going to show you guys. And I've got a garage full of projects, engines, there's a, you know, stuff going on in the basement, we're building stuff. So, stay tuned, I want to share all the projects, the how-tos, everything with you guys. Here's the back of our camper, check out the stickers from all the places we went to. Yep. Some of them are a little faded and peeling. They weren't really meant to be outdoor stickers, but you get the idea. It's all good fun. And the moment I know you've been waiting for, here's the big old bus, right? What's behind the bus? The special surprise. Yeah. My baby. This is my 1970 Monte Carlo. Check that out. And yeah, she's a work in progress. I've had her a long time, about 10 years, maybe even 11 years now. I don't know if that's cool guy stuff or not. Personally, it's not kind of my thing. I'm planning to actually redo the body on this. And uh, yeah, that's gonna go. But nevertheless, it's a cool car. More on that in another video. So that's the tour, that's the last of the bus. This is it. It's been sold and uh, that's the end of it. Someone's gonna come pick it up in a day or two. That's that for the uh, cool guy camper van. And guys, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And if you didn't like this video, then that's fine. Give me a dislike and please leave a hateful comment. Quite frankly, as long as I get you engaging, it's all good with me. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.